pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And the email that was sent by Miss Lee to teachers uh, this, in regards to FSA make, writing makeup testing, the student list has been attached to the email. Uh, we will conduct makeups um, this morning. Please uh, release any students to the media center when the announcement is made. And there's an Excel sheet uh, that uh, us teachers can look and make sure that our students are on it or not. This week, we have several um, religious holidays. We have Good Friday, uh, which is the day um, that um, Jesus Christ instituted um, the meal um, that he, and to celebrate for his death. And also Easter is a day that is the resurrection of his life. So, and then we also have Ramadan going on for our Muslim friends. Uh, in the next few weeks, Mrs. Ada will be inviting teachers in the social studies uh, to come on down, um, actually to my room, uh, which we have uh, transformed into a museum um, that highlights um, the Muslim faith. And then you and your students can come in and, and learn more about um, how uh, the, our Muslim friends uh, are learn, doing during this month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Miss Otto. And my name is Samaya. And we're here to in welcome you guys to the multicultural event for this year, which will be happening in the second building. It will be revolving around Muslims, Islam, and Ramadan. And as we are currently speaking, it is the holy month of Ramadan for Muslims all across the world. And we would like to welcome you guys into our worlds and our experiences. Please come and join us during this exhibit on April 25th through the 29th. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just a reminder, there is no school on Friday. So students um, and teachers, enjoy your Friday and stay safe. National Pet Day is an unofficial holiday that encourages all of us to pay attention to our pets for some extra attention. How's your dog Snoopy doing? He's still playful and energetic. I always want a dog. What type of dog do you want? A golden retreat. Six graders, y'all are going to boomers. <laughs> Tuesday of the school year. The price is $35 per student. Seventh grade, we are having a, we're going to a field trip in the Miami Museum. No cussing, um, no fights, and don't be disrespectful to your teachers. Eighth graders are going to Rapids Water Park. It's a beautiful and sunny day here in South Florida. But what better way to cool off than by getting in the water? So we came to the perfect place. 
the largest water park in South Florida, Rapids and West Palm Beach. So come with me and let's cool off and have some fun. I think what makes the Rapids unique is the 35 water slides. There's not a lot of water parks in the entire country, if any, that have 35 water slides. And when I say 35, there's everything from mild to wild. A family raft ride is something a grandparent can do with a grandchild. They're safe, they're fun, you're in a big raft. That's probably one of the most enjoyable things, and we have a lot, a lot of water slides. After enjoying some of the various exciting raft rides, how about some friendly competition on the High Speed Rapids Racer, which features six lanes for racers to slide to the finish line while competing for the fastest time on the scoreboard. If that's not your speed, how about the Flow Rider? where we can try surfing and bodyboarding right in the park on this continuous simulated wave system at 35 miles per hour. With so many unique varieties to choose from, many visitors agree on their favorite thing to do at Rapids. Go slides because they're safe and they're fast and I like to see nothing when I'm going down. I think the best thing about the Rapids is that I have three children. One is two and one's nine and that's such a huge age gap. And it's really hard to find places that will please all three kids. They have things for the little ones, they have the huge slides for my older son. It's really great. After all those fast-paced attractions, you might want to take a little break on the lazy river and relax while taking in the sights and sounds of the park. You could like really do anything you want here. I'm really fun at the wave pool. And no visit to Rapids is complete without indulging in one of their famous funnel cakes. Well, it's been quite a day of nonstop fun, relaxation, and excitement. Now I'm standing in front of one of the most popular and thrilling rides at Rapids, the Big Thunder. And I think it's the perfect way to conclude our adventure. For more information on Rapids and other water parks in Florida, visit our website. Now I'm about to go on this, so wish me luck. Calling on band, chorus, and dance for an audition. Auditions, auditions. If you got talent, we need you. On Tuesday, April 19th, and Thursday, April 21st, from 4.15 to 5.30. We want to see what you got here at Congress Middle School. Make sure you have something prepared if you're dancing, if you're playing, or if you're singing. Make sure you have a ride home. Bring your energy, bring your talent, and everything will be held in the band room. Again, Tuesday and Thursday. Be there. You have to have a positive behavior point, and that means no cussing, um, no fights, and don't be disrespectful to your teachers. Be clear from all obligations, textbooks, Chromebooks, iPads, and etc. Thursday, May 19, 2022, from 1.30 p.m. to 4.05 p.m., 8th graders will be having an award ceremony. The 8th grade problem is that 6.30 p.m. through 8.30 p.m., the cost is $60. You're invited to learn more about the Muslim culture. The first week of April 25th, you'll be invited to Mr. Soros' class. And first period. You have a first hand opportunity to learn more about the Muslim culture. Congratulations to Mrs. Bianca Dubois from Cougar TV. She took home second place, winning at the dramatic performance from the March 23rd virtual speech debate tournament. Great job. Thanks for watching. 